Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today guys, we're actually doing a lot of cool things. Today guys, we're gonna be checking out a car. We might be buying a car, and we're gonna pick up the fourth wheel. I finally found somebody selling the fourth wheel that I need for this, for the M setup. So you guys know that my car came with the original M3 rims, and uh, my front, one of my fronts were completely destroyed. I found one guy finally selling one for 200. I negotiated down to 125 because it has a pretty big dent on the top, but I think we can figure it out. I think we can get it fixed somewhere. So pick it up for 125, spend about 100 bucks to fix it. It's not that bad. So yeah, let's hopefully pick up a new rim, maybe pick up a new car, and check out a new car for my brother because my brother and I are picking up a new build for the channel. Before we do that, guys, we gotta put some gas in here because I wanna show you guys something real quick. I've been testing out the fuel pump to make sure every, all the reading and everything is good. And as you guys can see, the fuel gauge actually went down. Looks like everything's working how it's supposed to be. So uh, yeah, super hyped on that. No oil leaks whatsoever. All she needs now is some gas. And luckily for me, I got some right here. I think I got like three gallons up in here. I'm not too sure, but uh, whatever it is, let's put it in. All right, guys, filled her up. Gonna take this just in case with me if something happens, but I have no problems. I'm just taking it for uh, for whatever. Let's see how much gas we got in the tank, honestly. I think only had like three gallons. Let's do about three gallons gets you in uh, E46. Gets you about a quarter tank. That honestly will last me all day. So uh, I'm pleased. Finally, <laughs> we gotta go, bro. What happened? Uh, just move up a little bit, honestly. So my neighbors don't complain. You know what I'm saying? Look at that flex. <laughs> Damn, every time I see this car, guys, looking like a looking like a monster, honestly. Yes, yeah, where did this dude come from? <laughs> this is right in front of my house. And the business was sacrificed us. Try to be nice, but it wasn't enough. I think I like the person I become. Guys, wheels right there. I'm gonna go ahead and talk to him and then uh, we'll check it out. All right, guys, so this is the rim we just picked up. Looks honestly really good. Finally found a front. It just has this little nick right here that I actually think we can fix. So I'm pretty happy about that. Let's go ahead and load it up and uh, go on to our next location. guys i just left the copart and they sold the car <laughs> no dude basically we went to the other lot they gave me the numbers and everything and then they, they were said to preview it you got to come to this lot and when i came to this lot they sold it literally within those few minutes so unfortunately i can't get the car but this means we have to look for another build i guess guys this beamer just got repoed damn it's like that is this one up already there's no way this one's stick this thing looks mint i gotta look into this one what? That's no damage. What? E3 right here. What are the odds you find one of these? What the hell? Oh, it looks like the mirror just got slapped off. Oh, damn. It doesn't look like the wheel well is damaged, though. Oh, damn. Look at this door. I didn't even see that in the pics. So, you gotta get a door. But this is all straight. That's good. So, literally, all you gotta do is replace panels, headlight, bumper. I think the stuff frame is good. Let me see that real quick. Yeah, this thing's actually pretty messed. Yeah, I don't know. It's an auto. Who buys an auto Z3? God damn. Bro, this one doesn't have anything either. Dude, he's got an 8 Series here. What? <laughs> you guys know how rare this one is? That is super rare. Dang. 84,000 miles. Auto. God damn it. No, but look at this, guys. This one looks pretty good. This is definitely lowered. I don't know if it's coilovers or springs. Yeah, these are definitely lowered. SMG. 145,000 miles. All right, guys. This is an SMG. No manual, but if it starts, it might be the next build. I can't believe you used to have one of these. I can't picture you in one of these things. It actually sounds healthy. Guys, this one had a rear end accident, and that's all the damage there is. That's why I just don't get. It even has a car fiber diffuser. I can't even take any of his mods off. All right, guys, it's super hot out right now, but um, we just checked out a lot of X5s. I don't know how or why they have so many X5s. You even saw a Genesis, right? Which is kind of crazy. Oh, Genesis 2 M3 E46. Dude, one of them was like one of them was like a bad spec. <laughs> it was a convertible SMG, and the other one was a hardtop manual with only 63,000 miles. That is. 
perfect like no accident i don't get it like i absolutely don't get it so i'm gonna look into those of course um you guys let me know what future builds you guys want to see i don't know if i can afford an e46 m3 just yet we're looking for like an x5 maybe maybe a 5 series maybe a 6 series we're looking for something new something to freshen up and put some mods on because we've done a lot of 3 series on the channel so i'm sure you guys want to see something new as well all right guys little snack rate wouldn't hurt it's like this is actually a full-blown meal but what you gonna do all right guys it is the next morning and we're heading out again so basically um we didn't end up getting that bmw uh we you know we kept on reaching out to him you want to come back to us with a reasonable second offer we sent him our offer what we thought the car was worth and he wasn't really budging much i'm backing out of the garage real quick so it's not too loud for my family i'm gonna let it uh idle out for, idle out over here real quick Yes, it seems so loud. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how loud it is right now. We're heading over and we might be picking up a new car for my friend. He's super excited. This is actually one of two cars he's buying soon. Like I told you guys earlier today, he's looking at to buy two of the same car, one newer, one older for a project. So um, this guy's pretty crazy. So we're gonna go ahead and see what car he gets today. And uh, let's just say if he gets it, it's a V8 versus V8. I'm pretty excited about it. Obviously this is a baby V8, but um, Pretty excited to see it. Without further ado, guys, I'll catch y'all when we're at his place. All right, guys, we're at his place right now. He's got his two cars right behind me there. I don't know if you guys can see the Genesis, but uh, we're just waiting on him now. What's going on, brother? Hey. <laughs> you excited or what? Let me. And that little thing? Oh, I'm about to say. <laughs> you should have cashed out, bro. It's the best feeling. We're pulling up. I don't want to uh, invade his privacy. We're gonna check out the car. Let you guys know how it goes. But uh, I'm pretty. Yeah, that's definitely it. Damn, that thing's long, bro. <laughs> Dang. Okay, we're gonna park it right here. All right, guys. Devon just went ahead and asked him if it's okay to record, and he said yes. Yeah, so that's awesome. So uh, hopefully, you guys can see the reveal. Oh dear. Oh dear heavens. Go. Yeah, go for it. I like you. I like how you're the one doing it for me. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it, dude. <laughs> Dang, dude. Damn, look at these. That's a good lineup right there. AMG Corvette C6. <laughs> I wasn't ready. <laughs> guys, check it out. I'm going to go ahead. Oh, my God. This thing is so low. <laughs> it's so low, dude. 105,000 miles. Manual can't beat it. V8 6.0. Dang. This is clean. But guys, we are back home. Don't mind my funky hair. I don't know what happened exactly. The Corvette was a no go. Basically, I checked it at 105,000 miles, but apparently he told Devon before we actually got there at 80, 85,000 miles. So he was 20,000 miles off, and he was still asking for the same price when we actually told him. He was like, yo, you said 85 to 105 is a huge difference. Can you drop it down maybe to 11 or something, 11 grand? Because we were, we were talking up another like an extra two grand because of the mile difference, but 20,000 is a huge difference. So anyways, that's a no-go. I'll let you guys know if you find another Corvette. He's actually thinking about getting a C6 and a newer Corvette. So two Corvettes, which is kind of crazy. But he's looking for like a Corvette Daily slash a Corvette Project. I don't know what's going on here. I'll let you guys know as time goes on because I'm pretty excited about it. But anyways, guys, that concludes this video. We got the fourth rim. I'm super excited about that. If you guys want to see us get those rims mounted next video with new tires make sure to smash that like button but without further ado guys remember to stay humble i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out yeah yeah let's go i ain't the first with the curse with the thirst that i wanna be better not worse man it hurts i'm on this earth with my words and i put them all together in circ because i wanna have worth